Hi, this is John and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to cover using a cheap Windows computer to convert raw files using OM Workspace, as well as how to enhance the workflow connecting one of a number of Olympus's higher end cameras to the computer. Let's spend a moment and take a look at my use case. I generally shoot JPEG and RAW in both my Olympus and Nikon systems, though typically I'll just use the JPEG file when lighting conditions are reasonable. It's only when the lighting conditions become tricky or the dynamic range becomes significant that I'll actually use the RAW files instead of the JPEGs. And given I like the Nikon and Olympus colors, I'm very happy to use the free software that comes with both of those systems rather than invest in something like Lightroom. One of my favourite pastimes is skiing, and I think that using RAW files would actually give a significant improvement in a couple of respects. The dynamic range associated with snow, blue sky and mountains is extreme. That combined with the tendency of the metering systems within cameras to be fooled by the bright whiteness of the snow is another area where using RAW would be beneficial. My main editing platforms are the Mac Mini as well as the iPad Pro. But given we're going on holiday to Utah skiing in the near future, I need something that is one, mobile, and two, is able to run Nikon NX Studio, as well as OM Workspace. This rules out both Apple products. So I could have gone in a few directions with either a MacBook or a Windows laptop, but I've always been intrigued with the Surface tablets, but didn't want to drop a ton of coin. So I've picked up a second-hand Microsoft Surface Pro 7, which is a four-year-old design now. I figured this would be a nice small form factor to travel with, along with a solid set of specs and good build quality. So the specs of the unit I picked up are a 10th generation Core i5 processor with integrated graphics, 8GB of memory and 128GB of storage. So let's see if the Surface Pro 7 is up to the challenge. By way of comparison, I tried running NX Studio to develop some Nikon Z6 RAW files and it was adequately brisk. 10 full-size RAW files were exported in about 85 seconds. I then ran OM Workspace and was surprised how much slower it was processing Olympus EM1 Mark III RAW files. In regular use, I could just go make a cup of tea and let Workspace and the Surface Pro grind over the batch of RAWs. But I was intrigued to see how much of a benefit using the OM Workspace's USB RAW functionality would provide. The USB RAW functionality uses the camera's own processor rather than the computer's. So I did a comparison of OM Workspace's RAW processing functionality. Firstly, I developed a batch of 10 RAW files within OM Workspace using just the computer's processor. And then secondly, I attached my EM1 Mark III to the computer and used the USB RAW functionality to develop those same 10 RAW files. Processing RAW files within OM Workspace in its simplest fashion, simply importing the files into Workspace and then hitting the export function. Naturally, you can make many edits to the files before you export, but I'm not going to go over that functionality in this video. But now let's take a look at how to use the USB RAW functionality. It's pretty simple, but it does require a couple of extra steps. I opened up the OM Workspace app and connected a USB-C cable between the Surface Pro 7 and the EM1 Mark III. Powering up the camera gives you the option to select Camera Raw, so scroll down and select that item. Workspace then asks you if you want the camera to perform the processing, so we click Yes to that. Workspace then brings up a directory structure and it defaults to Slot 1. My RAW photos are stored on Slot 2, so we select that option. The software then reads the cards and displays the thumbnails. This part takes a few moments and given the large quantities of files on my card, in my test it took 17 seconds to display the files. Again we can make edits to the files if we wish, but I just want to test the export speed so I go ahead and select the export option. I choose the location where I want the resultant JPEGs to be saved, making sure that the quality is set to super fine and then hit the export button. The top left window here is OM Workspace alone, and the bottom right is utilizing USB RAW. The performance difference is remarkable. With the camera attached and doing the heavy lifting, the process completes in less than a tenth of the time than with the Surface Pro 7 alone. With just the Surface Pro 7, developing 10 RAW files takes 421 seconds, 
and with the USB RAW capability, the process took just 23 seconds. That's pretty impressive. While the Surface Pro chugs along, I'm not going to force you to go make a cup of tea, so let's speed things along here. OK, so now let's compare this to my desktop computer without the camera attached. I have a 2023 M2 Pro base Mac Mini with 10 CPU and 16 GPU cores. This is coupled with 16 gigabytes of memory. The software works just like it did with the Surface Pro 7 alone, but much quicker. Using the Mac Mini, the time to export the same 10 RAW files was 20.4 seconds. I guess it's unsurprising that the M2 Pro is so much faster than the i5 Surface Pro 7 alone, but it's a massive gulf. By contrast, it's very cool that simply by attaching the camera to the Surface Pro, which is a fairly basic computer by 2023 standards, the export is in the same ballpark as the new M2 Pro chip. Okay, so that just about wraps it up. I'm pleased to see that a modestly specced mobile Windows device like my Surface Pro 7 is able to run OM Workspace. And even happier that utilizing the USB RAW functionality actually makes it very bearable. If you have any insights on how you process RAW files when you're traveling, or if you have any experience utilizing OM Workspace with its USB RAW functionality, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear those thoughts. As always, please like and subscribe.